Here's a video on how to make things disappear and how to make things reappear. So for example, you have a start screen here, you might want it to disappear. Or when you click on this cat, you might want to make another cat pop up like this. And there are several different methods we can use to do this kind of thing. And we'll go through each one. So first you want to start with a completely empty project in Game Lab, and you want to go ahead and pick out your animations. I went ahead and picked out two cats and a start button. To pick them out, you just click this plus and search around, draw your own, upload your own, whatever you'd like to do. Now once you've got those, you need to make each one into a sprite. So I'll grab this purple bar sprite and put it at the top. And for each one of these, I'll also grab a set animation block. So I'll have one for cat one and one for cat two. just like this, and then I'll choose a different picture for each one, and then I need to draw sprites. So then you'll notice they're kind of big, so the next step would be to use sprite.scale to resize each one. And you want to pick a number less than one for each of these, so you'll probably do 0 0.5 or 0 0.8, whichever fits for your project. Okay, that's a good size. Now I'm just going to adjust their X position where they start so that they're not right on top of each other. So I'll set 1 to 100 and 1 to 300, and now I'm good. Okay, the next thing is to make a sprite for this start button. And I want to do it third so that it's on top of the other two, on top of the cats. So I'll go through the same process again. I'm just going to call this one start. And, oops, I forgot to select the picture of the start button to go with it. So, this thing does glitch out sometimes, I just refresh it and try again. Okay, now we're working. So my start button is there in the center, but it needs to be bigger. So I'm going to use this sprite.scale trick again. Oops. Oops again. Let me try... Here we go. And instead of making it a decimal like I did before to make it smaller, I'm going to use a whole number to make it bigger. And I tried this ahead of time. Four times its original size is enough to cover up my two cats, so that's what I'm going to go with. Now I want to make it where if I click that start, it goes away. So down here inside the draw loop, I need a, an if and then a mouse pressed over. So whenever the mouse is pressed over the start button, then I want it to go away. So one very permanent way to make it go away is just to click uh, sprite.destroy, which is down here at the bottom. This is one way to do it, but uh, I typically don't do it this way in case I want to use that item again later. Let me add a background. There we go. So now when you click destroy, it's gone. It's not in the code anymore. It's gone forever. So that's one way. Uh, and then we'll use these cats to demonstrate other ways to make things disappear. So we'll take this black cat here, uh, which is cat 2. And maybe we want to start with him off the screen and then make him appear. So we're kind of going in the reverse order. So what we're going to do is make it where when you press cat 1, the second cat shows up. So I'll just copy and paste that if and change some code here. And what I'm going to do is just use his X position as a way to control whether or not you see him. So I'll start him at the top of the code at position 500 and make it where when you click this cat, it shifts his position over to 300. Now 500 is off the screen, so you don't see him at the beginning. See that right there? But once I press the mouse over the other cat, his X position shifts and he appears on the screen. Now we can do the same trick again. I've copied and pasted, and now we're going to say if you press the second cat, let's make the first cat disappear. So that's the white one. I'll send his X position off the screen. So this one makes that guy show up, and this one makes him appear to disappear. There are some more methods. Uh, for example, you could use the visible, and you can set that to true or false. So I can say whenever cat2 is pressed, that's the Halloween dark cat, whenever cat2 is pressed, that the first cat will go away. Uh, the only problem with that is his position is the same. He's still actually right there on the screen. You just can't see him which means he's still going to respond to clicks. 
So I'm going to add an ellipse here to demonstrate that. And I'm going to put this little gray circle uh, right behind cat1. And now he appears to be disappeared, but you can see he's still clickable. So that's why sometimes I don't use cat.visible as true or false. To me, it's a much better method to just give them a location off the screen like this. And then you notice that that ellipse is not showing up.